Hello everybody and welcome again, or not again, to Project Trade. This is the trading highlight show, all of the finest times from our testing of trading strategies. And we're testing a technical trend style strategy today. It's a good old fashioned zero line crossover, very easy, very original stuff. We'll need our technical indicators for this, so we'll start with the cornerstone of the strategy, that is the Chaikin oscillator. We're going to use the standard settings for the indicator, which is subtracting a 10 period exponential moving average of the accumulation distribution value from a three period exponential moving average of the accumulation distribution value. Do check out our video on the accumulation distribution indicator if you want more information on it than that because we are jumping onto our second indicator. This is going to be a filter on our trades. Not every zero line crossover is going to be for us. We're going to be using a 60 period smooth moving average on the chart to help us out. So there's the indicators you can see on the price chart. The turquoise smooth average guiding the overall trend of the strategy. Then at the bottom beneath the charts we've got our Chaikin oscillator, all the usual settings, and that silver line across the middle of the oscillator, that is our zero line. We're looking out for those crossovers, yes sir. Not going to say much else on the indicators, again there's individual videos in the descriptions if you want more information on either of those. Alright, let's confirm our entry criteria for this strategy, this shouldn't come as too much of a surprise from what we've said so far. First, for our filter, the smooth moving average, we'll say that when price is above the average we'll be looking for buy trades only, and for when price is below the average it will be sell trades just for us from the chaikin not hard to understand prices above the average signals an uptrend and prices below the average signals a downtrend and for the chaikin itself as we know when we get a crossover above the zero line we'll use that as a buy signal and when it crosses below the zero line that'll be a sell signal we're keeping it just that simple easy enough for anybody to try along with us if they like here's an example of what a buy trade looks like we can see on that hot pink line of the chaikin oscillator that we've got a zero line crossover we're looking at the moment when it crosses and closes above the zero line got to close there and then we're all good on the chaikin so we just make sure we've got price above the moving average which we clearly clearly do so it's a buy signal for us here and look at how that price really goes what a win infinite money on that trade for us from what we can see now for the sell trade example we've got a few different crossovers beneath the zero line on this one here's the first sub zero cross on the charts but price is above the moving average so nothing for us to do there we'd skip that one never fear we've got another one down here doesn't look like the best entry point for us though we can see price go straight back up and it would almost certainly knock through a stop loss then aha another one comes over here that one's a bit of a better entry for us but it doesn't look like it's going to be guaranteed profit same for the cross over here could easily go wrong for us in the live strategy so a mixture of signals here for us and whether we're truly getting into those trades and making any money from them that is going to be down to our money management let's establish those rules for our strategy so we're sure about what we're doing here first off if we do get an entry signal we're not actually going to jump straight into it we are instead going to set our trade as a stop order meaning we'll place the order at a price which will enter us into the trade if price gets to that stop order level so for a buy signal we'll put the stop order just above the high of the current candle it's a final check on whether the trend we suspect of happening is actually happening and will continue to happen and then of course we just hold up the mirror for a sell trade signal if we get an entry signal there we'll simply place our stop order just below the lower price for the current candle if price backs away from the stop order and goes over our would-be stop loss level we will cancel the stop trade as that will tell us the signal has gone our potential trade will be no more so where is that stop loss going to be well just before we get into that we've got to note that the stop order will be split into two sub trades which will be worth one percent capital risk each for our account for example if we start with a ten thousand dollar account one percent of ten thousand dollars is one hundred dollars so we'd lose about one hundred dollars on both sub trades for a total of two hundred dollars lost okay sub trade a depending on if it's a buy trade or a sell trade that will have the stop loss at a low or high in price for the last three candles so if it's a buy trade the stop loss will be beneath the low of the last three candles and vice versa for a sell trade for the take profit on sub trade a as we can see it's simply going to be a one one mirror of that stop loss that's a one percent capital gain at play for sub trade a sub trade b will use the same stop loss level as sub trade a again that's the low or high of the last three candles but there will not be a take profit level for sub trade b instead it will be set as a trading stop loss so that when those trades take off we can just keep going forever and ever and ever until eventually we just own the world somehow so here's an example of how our trade levels look for a buy trade we look at this crossover in the yellow ring there at the bottom which is going to get us into the 
stop order at the white dotted line. We measure out the low of the last three candles as it's a buy trade and we set those levels in. Red dotted line for the stop loss and green for the take profit on sub trade A. Not only do we take profit on sub trade A but the trading stop loss on sub trade B would clearly keep going on and on and on. The money comes in for us. Let's take a look at a sell trade example going in at that crossover down at the bottom which again gets us in at the level of the white dotted line. The yellow arrows guide the distance to the high of the last three candles to the stop loss and then mirror it for the take profit which gives us our levels here and once again we're certainly taking that profit no problem and the trailer is going a bit too. Don't know where it's going to finish but we know it's going to be profits. Good stuff. There are a few other crossovers on here too. You can see we're not going to be shy of signals but whether they truly hit for us or not that is going to be a matter for the live charts to decide. So let's finalize the strategy. We're going to be trading on the daily time frame right at the end of the day. We'll be checking those charts for signals. That's what we've got time for really. And as we often do, we'll be trading on the 28 Forex major and minor currency pairs. Gives us a nice spread of choice there. And we will manually manage any Forex correlation issues on currency pairs. It's all going to be subjective for us. For example, if we were to get four US dollar signals at the same time, same day, maybe we'll take all four of them. Maybe we'll take none of them. We'll see how we fit in the moment. As we always do as well, let's journal the strategy and do a review of how the strategy is coming along each week. It's the best way to get a fair perspective. No point in just guessing when we're here to live test these strategies as best as we can. Okay, Mess Trader is the platform for our strategy, so let's get in there now and find those trades. Okay, so here we are out on the charts just at the last half hour of the day. We want to try and get as much information as possible out of the candle as always. And as always, we do our usual stick. Just turn up here once a day, check these 28 currency pairs, see if we got any signals. Euro US dollar is the example then, you can see we'd be looking for buy signals with the price above our moving average, 60 periods plugged in as promised. So we'd want the chike in to cross above the zero line, which it did a day or two ago. So we will watch out, see what happens next here. Too late for us to get into it. On the other charts, that's the same on the pound US dollar, crossed over just at the top of this candle. I do think you'd be up a bit at the moment but not taking profit otherwise we don't have any signals on day one but you can see plenty of crossovers nearly happening euro swissy might come back down cross that zero line give us a sell signal beneath the average has been on quite the run up lately euro cad pretty close as well didn't go negative yesterday on the chicken oscillator so not a signal yeah we just gotta wait out but they do come so not expecting to be left waiting forever Come back tomorrow, see how these charts are looking then. Maybe get our first signal. Okay, we are back on day two, just as we promised we would be. You can see the Chaikin oscillator has crossed below zero on the Euro US dollar pair. But price still above the average, not interested in that, but good to know those crossovers are coming. Same for the Swiss franc Japanese yen, that's gone under. But price, as we know, well above the average. Might turn though, give us a signal the other way. Could be coming soon. Euro Swiss franc, would like to see this one drop more, still fancy it for a signal. Euro CAD, very similar to the Euro US dollar, right in that moving average, so not interested in the cross beneath zero. Happy to just wait out and see what comes next. These signals are going to be coming, just got to be patient, pick the right ones and get those gains. Day number three, Euro US dollar pulled up, nothing for this pair, still got that crossover, waiting for it to turn back maybe. Euro CAD, that has crossed back above, price still over the average though, want to get it clearer there. Swiss franc Japanese yen comes in with a buy trade, got potential there. Same for the Australian dollar Swiss franc, but it's the Euro franc that I like the most. And see the drop there, this is one we've been talking about. Don't want to get into all three Swiss franc trades, that would be very gratuitous to start the strategy with. So we are just going to get one set of stop orders down, measuring out the stop loss for this Euro Swiss franc. We are going in, you can see the high there from the last three candles. All right, let's get those trades down. You can see the risk calculated on screen. It's going to be 0 0.09 standard lots on the volume. Sell stop order, we know. Let's just pop that price down there. Place the order. Our first trade on the strategy. Let's back it up with the second one now. Sub trade B, same volume, same entry price. If we get into it, that is. Let's get those stop losses and take profits in now. There we go. You can see the stop loss there. Looking good. Same on sub trade B as well. 95 pips. So we've got a bit to work with. Let's put that trading stop loss in for sub trade B while we're here. 950 points. And finally, the take profit on sub trade A. Should we get there, that would be glorious. $99 in it for us. 2% risk on the trade overall. 
So we are ready. We are ready to trade here. Hopefully get our first one. Only that one tonight. But there's going to be more signals aplenty. Let's come back tomorrow. Here we go again, back on day four. And we got into this Euro Swiss franc trade. This is what happens when it closes at a low. So you can see we got in there six seconds into the new day right after midnight. Yeah, you do get nudged into them when it's down there. I'd like to see a bit of a pullback at the end of the day. Adds that extra bit of confirmation. We might have to just make it wider to get into the trade. Don't know how this one's going to go, of course. It's currently $20 down on each subtrade, but that doesn't mean there's not better things to come. Same thing would have happened on the Swiss franc Japanese yen, would have got tagged in and knocked back down. Also the same for the Aussie Swissy. In fact, even worse, if you're in on this one, you know, if that higher play, you'd be over halfway to the stop loss. The Euro US dollar, that could have been a buy trade a couple of days ago. It's been knocked down again. Chikin's recrossed under zero, so nothing happening for that. Same on the Euro CAD. It was a buy trade yesterday. Now it would be a sell trade, but again, it's just all over the moving average price. Don't want to get involved in that uncertainty. Same for the dollar CAD. It's been bouncing up and down, but yeah, right on that average. So not going to be taking any of these. And nothing else on the other charts. So we'll stick with the Euro Swissy, see where that gets us. And we've still got one more day before the weekend. Okay, day number five of this strategy. It is Friday. End of the week and the Euro Swiss franc that's gone good for us. Now into a little bit of profit. You can see we are paying on the swap, not too much, only a dollar seven per trade, but would prefer it going the other way, obviously. And it's been favorable for the Swiss franc across the board. Your Swiss franc yen trade would be looking okay now. Aussie Swiss franc, yeah, not quite as good. And there is actually a signal on the New Zealand dollar Swiss franc. It's come through the crossover, sell trade. Don't want to take it because we are already selling off the Euro Swiss franc. Managed to avoid those other ones just in case. Don't want to start the strategy just getting knocked down. And also it's another close right at the low of the candle. If it was closing about halfway up the candle, maybe I'd consider it for a bit more confirmation. But it would need a big push down if we went for a wider stop order. I don't know, just don't like it yet. There will be plenty more to come. We are seeing crossovers. But at least we are in one trade from the first week of the strategy. I guess it's going nicely. Now we just need to head in the right direction. So we'll just be back on Monday. Start it all over again. Yep.